One highlight was a magnificent parade of hooligans. And in Australia, ecstatic crowds packed the streets, three quarters of the population turning out to see him. More than 50 independent nations, nearly two and a half billion people, the Commonwealth was an institution to which the Queen was devoted. As she made clear in her Christmas message from New Zealand. I want to show that the crown is not merely an abstract symbol of our unity, but a personal and living bond between you and me. A few months earlier, Elizabeth had been crowned, but unlike her father, there was no mention of empire in the coronation oath. Will you solemnly promise and swear to govern the people of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the Union of South Africa, Pakistan, and Ceylon. The empire was dying, the Commonwealth taking its place, and it was to that association of equals she was committing herself. I solemnly promise so to do. And in that first Christmas broadcast, she committed herself to a vision for the future based on an organization of equals. A Commonwealth bears no resemblance to the empires of the past. It is an entirely new conception built on the highest qualities of the spirit of man, friendship, loyalty, and the desire for freedom and peace. 